All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss another hyperbolic function's identity proof and look at the proof for this identity. Basically, uh, hyperbolic cos squared of x minus hyperbolic sine squared of x equals 2, 1. Basically, if you want to learn more about uh, hyperbolic functions, make sure to watch my earlier videos. You can see those in the related videos in the video links below. I'm not going to go over too much what they are, so make sure to watch those if you don't know uh, much about them. But anyways, the proof of this is quite easy. We just plug these in to the definition of these uh, functions, and that is, well, for cos h of uh, squared, this is just going to be e to the um, e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2, and then all squared. So this function is this one right here, and that's the cos. Then we're subtracting now by e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2, and this is all squared. And this is this function here. That's the only difference is the negative for the sign. And now, so now we basically expand these out using the FOIL method. Well, this will equal 2. Well, this, the bottom is going to be divided by 4. Because, well, if 2 squared is 4. And now here we just expand these out or FOIL it. You could also write this as e to the negative x times, yeah, you could just write it out like this. This is the same thing as, as squaring. Yeah, then on the right side we'll have it like this, but with the minus signs everywhere. And uh, basically, uh, you could have, you could uh, skip this step, but I'm just doing it to illustrate the FOIL method. So now we're going to have to multiply this by this to expand, plus this by this. And uh, yeah, you learn more about the FOIL method in the video link below. So anyways, we'll get this divided by 4 here. e to the x times e to the x. It's going to be e to the 2x. And then plus e to the negative, uh, you know, e to the x multiplied by e to the negative x. But then we're going to have it, we're going to add it twice because it's going to be on this one, e to the negative x times e to the x. So we'll have 2 e to the uh, x times it by e to the negative x right here. And then we'll have a plus, uh, this is going to be e to the negative 2x here. Because this is e to, the, e to the negative x times by e to the negative x. So because we add the powers. And in this case here, we add this powers x minus x equals to 0. So we'll have an e to the power of 0, and this equals to 1 right here. So we'll get to that in a bit. But basically, now we go subtract this. Well, since the common denominator is 4, we'll divide everything by 4. So minus now expanding this out, e to the x of 2x. And then we'll have a minus. It'll be the same thing as this one, but now there's a minus for this addition. That's the only thing that's going to change. e to the x, e to the negative x. And then plus e to the negative 2x right here when we FOIL this out. Yeah, so I'll have it like this, all divided by 4, and again, this e to the x times e to the negative x equals to 1. So we'll have now e to the 2x plus 2, that's going to be multiplied by 1, so plus e to the negative 2x minus e to the 2x. Um, this is going to be now negative, negative, it's positive 2e, I mean, uh, the e's, uh, e's cancel, so we'll have positive 2, and then plus... Actually, now plus minus, because there's a minus sign out here, minus e to the negative 2x. I'll divide this by 4. And now we just cancel the like terms. This one's canceled. This cancels. This cancels uh, with this. This is an e to the negative 2x. And this because this subtract to be 0. So now all we're left with is 2 plus 2 is 4. So we'll have 4 over 4 equals to 1. And there is our proof. So we've just proved this one right here. And now just uh, another side note, uh, these are called hyperbolic functions because this function represents a hyperbolic function because, uh, well, if you have something like, actually I'll just graph it out here. So basically a hyperbolic function if you have, let's say, x squared minus y squared equals to 1 like the one we have uh, in this hyperbolic function, it's going to be graphed like this. And these are kind of how the graphs look like. So that's a hyperbolic function, and but uh, as opposed to, yeah, as opposed to trigonometric functions, uh, you'll have x squared plus y squared equals to one, and this is a circle right here. So it looks something like that. And basically, this because this identity is uh, for hyperbola, that's how it would look like. It's called hyperbolic function, but for uh, trigonometry, this we know this identity cos squared x plus y squared. I mean, plus, I mean, sine squared right here of y equals to 1. So this is a circular function. It's often, uh, trigonomic functions are often referred to 
and as opposed to hyperbolic functions they get the name because of this identity and it's, it's uh, this is a function it deals with as opposed to the circle well anyways that's all for today if you learned from this uh quick video on proof of this identity and thanks for watching remember you can download these exact notes in the dropbox link below so stay tuned for another math easy solution